tested many different tools to run my print on demand business and to run it on Etsy from things to do research, to designing, to mock-ups, and so much more. But I wanna talk as if I was just starting my print-on-demand store. If I had to give someone advice who had a very limited budget on what they could spend on monthly subscriptions, then this is what I would tell them. So I would set up my Etsy store, and then I would go into Printify and use Printify as well. Printify, when you first start, is not a subscription. It's actually free. You only pay if you get an order in which Printify will print and ship your product out for you. But they do have a subscription called Printify Premium. So with Printify Premium, it does cost $29 a month, but it gives you 20% off most products on Printify. And you can actually calculate at what point of monthly sales will it result in you actually making making money by using Printify Premium. So for a t-shirt, for example, I can see here that it cost me $11.40 to make, but if I had Printify Premium, it would be $9.12. That gives me a saving per order of $2.28. Now, if I grab that $29 that I'm gonna be spending a month if I wanted to do Printify Premium, if I do 29 divided by my 228, which was the difference, that equals 12.7 t-shirts. So if I start selling at least 13 t-shirts a month, Printify Premium is now profitable for me. But until then, I'm just losing money on the subscription. So I would just be using Printify as is and just taking in your orders and only paying again once you pass that threshold where it makes sense for you to upgrade. And if you would like a free month of Printify Premium, this does have to be used before you actually place your first order. You can use code see you online and the link in my description. My second non-negotiable tool that I would be getting if I had a limited budget per month would be Kittle. Kittle is where I do all of my designing now. It used to be Canva, but I really like the Kittle templates as they follow current Etsy trends. If they're always adding in new changes and they're always getting better and they just have a lot more capabilities currently than Canva. So I've just been using Kittle for all of my brand new designs and usually starting from a template. And I do think this is a game changer for people who are just starting with print on demand. I do have a few different tutorials for Kittle on my channel. I'm gonna have to do some more for 2025 because so much has changed for the better on Kittle, including multiple artboards, which is one of my favorite reasons to use Kittle. They also have your mock-up creator built in. So depending on what type of thing you sell, they have a few different mock-ups that might be of good use for you to use. And again, just a lot of their tools are super helpful for my types of designs and for making my mock-ups. And if you wanna use Kittle, I have a discount code in my description below. My next non-negotiable would be Everbee. Yes, you can do free research on Etsy, but Everbee speeds up that time immensely. And I spend so much time doing research on Etsy to be able to start creating bestsellers and know what trends are doing well on Etsy. And Everbee speeds that up by helping me find what's doing best currently, what's selling this month, what tags they're using, what the search competition is for the tags they're using, and so much more. It helps me quickly see what type of sales certain listings are getting. One thing to keep in mind that no tool out there is 100% accurate. This person, while they might have 152 sales or close to that, it's not 100% accurate, guys. But this is a great way to still get an idea of how a listing is doing. And using their sidebar here, you can take a look at the product product analytics. Again, see what keywords they're using and the competition, the keyword score. So you can help use this for your SEO. And then I'm also very big on using their Etsy calculator when I'm trying to come up with prices. They do have a free version. So I would recommend starting with the free version. And then when you find that you're using Everbee enough, which I think you probably will because it is my most used research tool by far, then you'll probably want to upgrade, but you can do that in the time that is necessary for you. The next tool that I highly recommend is Creative Fabrica. Because Creative Fabrica is a library of thousands of print-on-demand assets that you can use for commercial use in your designs, including vectors, PNGs, JPEGs, what I use it most for, fonts, and mock-ups. For example, if I need a bow, but Kittle doesn't have that element and I can't really create it with their AI either, though Kittle's AI is fantastic, then I can just come into Creative 
separate a fabrica and type a bow. And then we're going to get so many different options that we can use within our design. And what makes this such a game changer is that it is very cheap and it is subscription based. So you can choose to not have a subscription and you can buy each individual listing for $1.50, $1.10, $1.50, or for just $3.99 a month, you are able to get access to all of these, including all of their assets, fonts, mockups. Again, I use so many of their fonts and I bring them into Kittle when Kittle doesn't have what I need. And they even have tons of mockups that charge you a lot to buy them on Etsy. Yet a lot of the exact same mockups are listed by those creators here or some that you've never seen before as well. So you can go through and if you like some of these, there's some definitely here that I don't know why I haven't downloaded these yet, but you can grab your mockups from here on a subscription service for only $3.99 rather than buying all all these things individually. And you guys can get free 10 downloads from Creative Fabrica from my description below. So those are my four, those are my four different types of tools that I would highly recommend that someone starts with if they had limited budget. You might've noticed, I've seen me, you, talk about a lot of other different types of tools for Etsy and print on demand, which yes, I stand by. But if there were some people who did not want to go sign up for all these subscriptions and want to know what my most recommended ones are, the ones that I use on a daily basis, this would be them. There are other tools like E-Rank to help you come up with some niche ideas, Simply Listed, which I haven't played too much with. It might actually move over to one of my most used tools, but I need to play with it a little bit more to help me automate my mock-ups. There's Hello Custom if you do a lot of custom orders. I don't do that many custom orders. So it's something if you do do a lot of custom orders, that I would recommend looking into. But I know a lot of people who are just starting don't have the monthly budget to pay for all of these subscriptions. So these are the ones that I would recommend, the ones, again, that I use daily in my print-on-demand business. So I hope this helped. If I missed any that you use, please leave them in the comments below. And if this helped at all, if you could leave a like and subscribe, would help me so much. Thank you guys. And I will see you next week.